In the last tutorial we animated our Lego face. This time I show you how to set up your character rig in Blender and how you can use Mixamo animations for your rig. After exporting our minifigure from Megabricks, we go to Mixamo.com and download any motion capture animation we like. Make sure you choose the right frame rate. In Blender we import our minifigure and scale it 0.05 times to normal human size using the 3D cursor as pivot point. Apply scale with Ctrl A. Before we rig our character we need to get rid of some geometry and add some modifiers to get smooth objects. We go to edit mode and optimize our mesh. If you already know how to do that, you can jump to the next chapter. We give every object a bevel and subdivision surface modifier to get a smooth look. Now we start rigging our character. We add an armature and give it a name. In edit mode we adjust our rig.
it's important to rename our bones correctly. We add right or left to the end of the name. Then we can easily symmetrize our rig. We parent the upper arm bone to the chest. Adjust the bone roll if necessary. Tie bones we parent to the hip. We switch to pose mode and give the hip bone a copy location constraint to the torso. Almost done. We parent all objects except the hands to the armature with automatic weights. We parent the hand objects to the armature and choose parent to bone. Now we delete all groups until there are only those left that are supposed to have an effect on the object. For example the arm object has only the vertex groups of the upper and forearm. Repeat this process for all objects. Finally, we have to fix a problem that we have because of the mirrored objects. We clear the parent of the right arm and apply the scale. Then we go to edit mode and recalculate outside the normals. Then we parent the arm to the armature with automatic weights again. Same for the right leg. It's time to clean up the outliner a little bit. To import our Mixamo animation, we go to File, Import, FBX. Now it's important to check the box, Automatic Bone Orientation under the Armature tab. First we delete the bones we don't need. Then we try to memorize the bone names of the Mixamo rig 
and give every bone of our rig a copy rotation constraint. The torso bone gets a copy location constraint as well. And we need to parent our hip to the torso. Don't mix up right and left. <clears throat> If there are problems with the rotation, go to edit mode and change the bone roll by adding 180 degrees. The problem with the right hand we solve later. To easily control the influence of the copy rotation constraints, we go to the object properties and add a new property under the custom properties tab. Don't forget to copy the data path. We change to pose mode and go back to the bone constraint properties. Then we add a driver to every single bone, except our hip bone. To fix the problem with the right hand, we set the influence of the bone constraints to zero and clear the parent of the right hand. Apply scale, recalculate normals, parent to bone again. If you are not satisfied with the motion of some bones, you can adjust the curves. I recommend to delete the curves of the bones we deleted before. Now we are able to load any Mixamo animation we want by importing a new FBX. Don't forget to check automatic bone orientation and give the action a fake user if you want to keep it. I expect a subscription and a like, otherwise the green ninja will find you. 
Just kidding. Selfie Ninja!